Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to make our way down to Dark Root Garden. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Gonna do a little bit of backtrack in here. Get to the bottom of the ladders. Everything's still dead. Except for those balder knights over there. I'm going to go over here to the bonfire. We're going to rest at the bonfire real quick. And then we're going to go talk to an NPC. Run across this bridge. This is Sin's Fortress over here. We haven't opened it up just yet. But it won't be too long before we do. Let's talk to this NPC over here. Hmm. 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 Oh, ho. forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge, no matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> Still closed. Still closed. Hmm... Okay, we'll be helping him out in a while. First, we need to open up the gates and he'll move forward. He's got a side quest. It's actually our first NPC that we've met that has a side quest. Eh, nope, that's not true. We met Lawtrek. We're going to go down here. We're going to see our first Titanite demon. Be really careful with these guys. They're pretty strong. They hurt pretty bad, too. If you let them. Ooh, that's scary. Let's try to get his attention right here. Shoots a bolt at us. Oh, fuck off with that. We'll just get a hit in, then. If you stay below here with, with the stairs... You can kind of cheese him. I like to actually get him on the stairs or just above it. That has such a far reach. Whenever he does that lightning bolt, you can run over and get a free hit. Just like that. Oh, jeez. We're really doing this, aren't we? <laughs> I guess this is how we're going to kill this Titanite demon today. Come on. I'm trying to show you guys how to make this fight a little easier if he can just... Get his happy ass over here to the stairs. Come on. He's trying to goad him over here, but he does not want to come to the stairs. Maybe you guys will have better luck than me with the stairs. There we go. Yeah, just stay below him. That's really where you want him, is right here on like the stairs. And you can just keep hitting him, and all his swings will go right above your head. 
We're going to get some Demon Titanite from him. It's our first Demon Titanite we've got in the game so far. Those guys, there's two in Sin's Fortress I'm not even going to bother with. And when we get there, you'll understand why. We finally made it to Dark Root Garden. We're just gonna kill these plant guys. They drop um, blood red moss, which it helps with bleed buildup, and then purple moss clumps, which will help cure poison buildup, and or if you're poisoned as well. And they also drop blooming purple moss, which will cure toxic buildup. So those are the three drops you can get from these guys. Over here we can get a large soul of a nameless soldier. Over here at this door, if we would have got the crest of Artorius. Artorius? Oh man, I swear I struggle with that word. It's not a hard word, but I just struggle with it. You can open up this door... But we didn't get the crest. It's 20,000 souls for that crest. So if you want to grab it, open up those doors. Have at it. I'm not going to bother with it. We're going to light this bonfire. We're going to sit at the bonfire. And we're going to kindle it. It's always nice to kindle this bonfire just in case there's any deaths. There's these stone guardians that are pretty beefy. The grass guys aren't too bad as long as you don't have a big group of them. If you have a big group, they can be pretty challenging. Or at least overwhelm you. This is a trap. You can come here and you can kill these guys ahead of time. But if you pick up this item, you're going to pop out of the ground and all hit you at once. So do yourself a favor. Kill them ahead of time. Got another purple moss clump. Large solo of nameless soldier. And then blood red moss clump. I actually never use the blood red moss clumps. I just don't find them useful. There may be a better use for them. But eh, I don't know. Just never use them in here. Right here we're going to kill this tree. Head down here. We're going to have like a frog creature. If you kill these things, they can drop, I think, blooming grass or something like that. I don't know. It, it ups your stamina recovery rate. They're pretty useful. Over here is going to be our first stone guardian. I like to come over here. Kill the frog guys first. Be careful because the stone guardian will run up on you. Just like he is now. But worry about the frogs first. Then try to go for the stone guardian. They're pretty slow and deliberate with their attacks. Do not... Let him do that move right there. That is Tranquil Walk of Peace. If you let him get that off and you're trying to fight him, you're going to walk very slow. You cannot roll. So it, it is an easy way to die. If you see him doing that move or casting that spell, try to kill him quickly or run away if you can until that wears off. Get a Soul of a Proud Knight. Also, what were those items that the um, frog guys drop? It's the green blossom. Those will, uh, if you use them, they'll up your stamina recovery rate for a little bit. We still have seven humanity. That's pretty good. And we're in our human form. So that's even better. Up here is another stone guardian. This one's a little easier. 
just because he's by himself and it's not a bunch of frog guys that that are trying to attack you at the same time over here we're gonna get the wolf ring if we look over here this is where we entered dark root garden and then you can kind of see off in the distance the door with that we can use the crest of a Taurus on we're gonna backtrack also before we go any further let's go ahead and put our wolf ring on this will boost our poise which means we'll be able to be staggered a lot less whenever we're being hit which is really good we have very little poise right now just because we're only wearing pants the, the better the armor the usually the heavier the armor the more poise you're gonna get let's take this guy out That way he doesn't creep up on us while we're trying to fight this stone guardian here. They'll drop their shields and uh, sword every now and then. Yeah, that's Tranquil Walk of Peace. When he does that, try to kill him as fast as possible. Save yourself some grief. Kill this ambush here. We got one more. And then this stone guardian is going to get up. We're going to back up and let him come to us. Sorry if the trees are just kind of getting in the way and making everybody dizzy. That is just an unfortunate feature of Dark Souls Remastered. Yep. Yep. This is what I'm talking about. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Ooh, I got out of it. Run, run away. Normally I don't do that bad against those guys, and that's pretty awesome getting that stone great sword. That also scales with strength and dex, so if you want to use it, feel free. I'm not quite sure on the exact stats for that. I'm gonna pick up the Elite Knight set. Then we're gonna Get hit. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Before you pick up that item, there's these like snake lizard creatures. Go ahead and kill him. This is the Partisan. Partisan, Partisan, I don't know. However you want to pronounce it. Oh, I see some items up there that I forgot. Kind of keep an eye on... Um, you know, which way he's moving. I didn't even notice these guys had items on them. That's weird. I would have thought that I would have noticed, but I guess not. There we go. Over here, we're going to backtrack a little bit. 
is another one of those lizard creatures. They didn't drop a... Uh, what is it? A vermin egg or something like that? We'll get into that a little later. Right now, it's not really that important. Let's go ahead and break these bushes. We can summon in Beatrice. Beatrice is so OP in general. She is a badass. Matter of fact, she's probably going to solo the boss. This is the original let me solo her. Beatrice is a boss. I just have to dodge the Moonlight Butterfly's attacks and Beatrice will put in the rest of the work. Probably one of the more easier bosses in the game. Come on Beatrice, do your thing. What are you doing? There we go. She just does crazy damage against this boss. And I have no clue what this boss is doing besides being stupid. It is all kinds of glitched out. Okay, there we go. I say Beatrice is a boss and then she does absolutely nothing. There we go. And the boss is dead. We get the soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. And we also get a Humanity as well. Normally Beatrice isn't so... Non-aggressive. Usually she's just spamming spells at the Moonlight Butterfly. But I guess she didn't want to today. It's all good. It's all good. It's because I like hyped her up. She got nervous, right? Climb this long ass tower here. We'll get the watchtower basement key. We'll get a divine ember. And we'll also get a homeward bone. Actually, this tower is really high. If you look off in the distance, I'm not sure if you can see it very well. But that's Undead Berg. Undead Berg and then... I think Sin's Fortress as well. It's kind of hard to make all that out, but I just think it's really cool. You can do that with most of the Dark Souls games. Dark Souls 2 has a lot of controversy. Ugh, good lord. Uh, speak, Mr. Wayne. Has a lot of controversy over it. Um, due to a lot of the level design. But, well, that's not the only thing that people were upset about with that game. But... The level design is a lot different compared to um, Dark Souls 1 and 3 and uh, Bloodborne. Those three, the uh, world was just very connected. And you could see different places that you were heading to or where you were and all that good stuff. We're just kind of backtracking here. We killed the boss. I can probably run. I don't have to jog back we should have an enemy one of those grass guys probably ran over here whenever we no I guess he de -aggroed. Uh whenever we went over there and got, grabbed the wolf ring a lot of times the one of the grass guys will make their way over here and kind of surprise you let's real quick use our souls and then we're gonna level up a little bit we'll probably get like two or three levels i'm gonna use this soul of a moonlight butterfly i don't ever use this soul this boss soul to make any weapons if you want to make weapons with it go ahead um i'm sure you can look up online what different weapons the moonlight butterfly soul makes have at it. I'm not going to. It's not really that necessary. I think the only boss soul we're going to use to make a weapon is going to be Quaylags. Or Quaylogs, Quaylags. Whichever way you like to pronounce it. I'm cool with. 
Just be very careful not to use that Firekeeper Soul. You can use that to gain souls, but you will miss out on upgrading your Estus Flask. Alright, let's put in one to Strength, one to Dexterity, and then one into Intelligence. The reason I want one into Intelligence it'll, is because it'll open up some dialogue with um, a few NPCs. And then we'll put one into Vitality. So now that we have all our side stats leveled up that we wanted, the only four? Yeah, the only four stats we're going to be putting points into is Vitality, Endurance, Strength, and Dexterity. And the way I like to do it is I like to start from the top. If I can only put one point in, I put one point in, and then I'll go to Endurance, Strength, and then Dex. And then I'll go back to the top and keep doing that until I have it maxed out to where I want it. Doesn't matter what way you do it. That's just the way I do it personally. Just in case you're following along. Let's take this guy out. Get out of here, chump. Nice. We got some blooming purple moss. That's good to cure Toxic, which here soon we're going to be dealing with. Probably another two episodes we'll be dealing with it. Two or three episodes we'll be dealing with uh, Toxic. Purple Moss Clump. We're going to come down this way. We're going to have another Black Knight. So be prepared for that. This one is going to have a Glaive though. Or a Halberd. Whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure they're pretty similar anyways. We want to come over here. Grab that Crystal Lizard. So we got a Titanite Chunk. Whenever we killed that Crystal Lizard. It doesn't always drop Titanite chunks. Uh, sometimes it'll drop Titanite or large Titanite shards. Um, and I believe you can get Titanite slabs from them too. But they always drop some Twinkling Titanite. That is a guaranteed drop. It's just those other Titanites. Just random chance. Random RNG. Pick up the leather armor, gloves, and boots. And we'll also get the long bow and a few feather arrows. Real quick, we're going to switch out bows. We're going to use the long bow instead of the short bow. And we'll level that up a little bit as well a little later on. Let's not two-hand our weapon. We're going to try to parry this black knight here we can get his attention come on bud yeah I hate when they do that jumping attack there we go get a parry on him and then there's the last parry Sweet. We got the Black Knight Halberd. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he always drops the blue Titanite chunk, but that is a good drop. So far, we've got two drops from the Black Knights, and that's pretty freaking awesome. That is pretty freaking awesome. Grab the Grass Crest Shield. And then we're going to sit at this bonfire. We're going to light it and then sit at it. And the reason why is because we're going to make a... Not a suicide run, but a one-way run. And then we're going to use a Homeward Bone to get back. I mean, I guess it could be a suicide run if you die, but... Try not to die. Let's pull this lever. waiting on the 
elevator to get to the top here. Take it on down. <clears throat> we don't have to send it up, but if you want to, you can. This is called the Valley of the Drakes. And as everybody can see, there is a lot of drakes. We're going to make a sprint, but before we do, I want to change out shields. Let's put our grass crest shield on. We can two-hand. It doesn't matter if you two-hand or one-hand. Um, we're going to run over there, grab an item. That's going to be the brigand set and a spider shield. Just do not slow down. If you stop, don't stop for long. Grab the brigand set and the spider shield. That shield will help block poison damage. It doesn't add to your poison buildup rate, but it will block poison damage. Made it to the top. Grab ourselves the red tear stone ring. Let's go into our inventory and use a homeward bone. I'll see everybody in just a second. Back at the Dark Root Basin bonfire here. If you want to kindle that bonfire, you can. I'm going to wait till later to kindle it. Right now, I'm just going to worry about going to the top here. By the way, all those Black Knights are optional. If anybody's struggling with them, just come back later, kill them when you're stronger, when you have better armor, and you don't feel so nervous. I don't want to say scared, but nervous to fight those Black Knights. Up here, we're going to use our Watchtower key. When we get in here, be very careful. We have Havel the Rock. He will swing at you. You want to fish for backstabs. That's what we're aiming for. Grab a backstab. Just be very careful because he does hurt. He, he will mess you up real fucking quick. That dragon tooth that he has. Oof. I just wanted to show people that you can backstab them while you're locked on. But how I like to fight him is not locked on. There we go. And he's dead. He's going to drop uh, Havel's ring. And Havel's ring will boost your equipment load so you'll be able to wear heavier equipment if that's what you want to do that's not what i want to do i'm saving um kind of some points and some upgrade material to when i have the armor that i want to wear you're more than welcome to wear whatever armor you want by the way feel free uh, don't think that you have to follow directly along and wear the exact armor, do the exact stats, or even have the exact same weapon. So, do with what makes you feel comfortable. Alright everybody, this is actually where we're going to end the video. I want to first off tell everyone, thank you for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. Or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.